Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Installing and Configuring Operating Systems, Part 2. Today we're going to talk about partitioning hard drives and some miscellaneous setup issues that can occur or you need to be aware of. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. So we begin by talking about partitioning hard drives. Now, a hard drive partition is also known as a volume. A hard drive volume is what is given the drive letter. So the C drive, the main drive, is a volume and it is a partition. Keep that in mind. Partitioning involves the logical division of a hard drive or drives into designated spaces. A physical hard drive can contain more than one partition. A partition can span more than one physical hard drive. A hard drive partition is either primary or extended. A hard drive can contain up to four partitions. Only one of those partitions can be extended. One of the primary partitions is marked as active. That's where the system boots. Now an extended partition is used to get around the four partition limit. It acts as a container to hold logical drives. It's not very common anymore, but it was a way to get around the four partition limit. Now, I was just talking about partitioning hard drives and those were MBR, Master Boot Record hard drives. They came out with a newer system that's called GPT, Globally Unique Identifier Partition Cables. Now, this is supported by many newer operating systems and this allows for disks that are larger than two terabytes. It can hold up to 128 primary partitions, but it only works on fixed disks regular hard drives. It does not work on USB or flash drives. Now there are three basic types of partitions. There's the basic partition. That's where the user establishes it. The user sets the, the size and it is the most basic and easiest of partitions. Then there's the dynamic partition. That's where you allow the operating system to decide how much space is needed for that partition and it can increase and decrease as needs arise and fall. Then there is a logical partition. This is where it spans multiple disks. This is a type of dynamic partition by the way. Now let's talk about miscellaneous setup issues that may arise or that you need to be aware of. And the first thing we need to talk about is formatting the hard drive. A quick format versus a full format. In a quick format process, the system does not check the hard drive for bad sectors before laying down the file structure. It's faster. Now the full format does check for bad sectors and marks them so that it doesn't put files in those bad sectors. It's slower, but it's much safer. You need to be aware that when setting up a system, that you may need to have the third-party drivers on hand for any hardware that's installed in the machine. Then there is the type of network setup that you're going to have. It's going to be either work group or domain. The work group is the most basic. Users will need to have accounts on each machine that they need to have resources shared. Now a domain is more of a business-oriented method. That's where there's central control of shared resources. A user has one account that grants access to all authorized resources. When you're setting up a PC, remember, you need to know what region you're in, what the time is, the date, what language settings you're going to use. This, these are required inputs during installation. You can use a script file to answer the question. Then there's Windows Update. It is recommended that you use Windows Update right after the installation. Make sure everything's current. And then it's recommended that you automate updates. You set a time and allow for the process to become automated. The last thing that you need to consider is the OEM recovery partition. M many consumer off-the-shelf systems no longer come with systems disks. It's all contained in the recovery partition. 
And the recovery partition is used to bring a system back to factory original, including all the default programs that you took the pains to remove in the first place. I do warn that you should use caution when modifying that partition. Now that concludes this session. We talked about partitioning hard drives and some miscellaneous setup issues that you should be aware of or consider. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I'm looking forward to doing more.